Hi, this is Kim, and I'm here to show you this new book that I have created. And I'm just tell you, I haven't been on for a little while, been busy doing this and that. But now I'm back again, and I have finished this one book. I have some more in the process, and hopefully get them done before too long. I hope you guys are all doing well. Well, this one's about nine and um, I think it was six inches. And it's um, has about a hundred and twenty pages, I'm thinking, front and back. Um, has vintage lace and vintage buttons. The um, cloth I used is vintage and um, this isn't this is a newer one it could be vintage I'm not sure on it but I don't think so and the lace a lot of it and the crocheting work um, is um, hand done this is some lace that's been hand done and um, I went to an estate sale found this beautiful little throw that was quilted and it was so cute and charming but it was very worn and stained and tattered and and people someone must have loved it very much because there had been patches that had been done in it so I went ahead and bought went back I didn't take it at first but then I went back because I, I kept thinking about it and it was still there so I bought it and um so the next few books I'm doing will be in this material. Um, it has little bowls, little gold bowls right here. So cute. And um, the spine is an inch. And it does have some discolorations. But I find it very charming and I really like this. Okay, let me show you what's inside. Okay, here's a place to put your name, and it has three signatures. This is very old. This is from the early 30s, and so is this card here. And um, this is from an old magazine. And some sewing, and this one is um, handmade. This one is new, but this one's old. And here's a little heart to stick something in. And a little charm, a little heart charm. And this is some of that fabric. And that throw. I'll go over this pretty quickly, I hope. Because I don't want my camera to stop on me. This is com comes from a 1920s magazine. And here's a place to put something, if you wish. little heart there too. Some ephemera and places to write. This is from an old cookbook. Here's a little pocket I made. A little envelope but it doesn't have anything in it. A little card there. Just hold on. Some little places to write on more little papers to write on that's pretty a little charm there our bead and all these um, pages here are old from an old book most of the papers in here are probably coffee dyed this is from that old magazine this is old vintage made these cute little button flowers, the buttons are vintage. There's a little pocket I made. A little envelope. And uh, made a little, little paper with some um, some of that material sewed on. This is uh, from an old book too. Not super old, but it is old. And then just some little eyes and end pieces here. The, look at and write little things on and 
This is from a Jello um, little book, booklet. It's from the twenties. And this is hand done. Like I said at the beginning, it's cute. This here is just some labels that I have stained that you can stick in if you wish. And some little cute birds. Some more little cards and whatnot to write on. Extra. Here's some of that material that I've sewed in. And here's an envelope. And you can put something in. You can even stick something in here in that little tuck spot there. This is from Tim Holtz. There's some little cute stuff here. And another card that's old. It's from the 30s. Some beautiful ruffles. This is from an old music um, magazine. Thought it was cute, so I made some little tags out of it. And there you have her. And um, I hope that you will go and check my Etsy shop out, and um, maybe you'll want to take her home. You guys have a great day, and see you soon. Bye.